Hey, hello YouTube! This is Ramadan Steve from Rip City Baseworks, and today I'm going to show you how to root the uh, HTC Desire uh, 626S. First step is to download all the files I have linked below. You're going to want to unzip those, uh, go into the folder, uh, unzip the platform tools folder that's within. And then you're going to want to copy Magisk, which is going to be the root we use, and uh, TWRP into Platform Tools. So there's two folders because it was zipped. And then if you don't have the HTC driver installed, you need to install that. And it might do that black screen like it did for mine because I already have it installed. So now you're going to want to go to the HTC Dev website. So just Google HTC Dev. And there you go. And this website is very janky, so it's a complete shit website. So the process is you have to register, and then uh, you have to confirm by email, and then you have to, um, it won't let you actually log in. I'm assuming it's just broken. Um, so you have to do forget password. Uh, they'll send you a password, and that password will indeed work. So I'm just showing you this. And... Uh, so this root process is similar to LG's, if anyone has rooted an LG phone before. Um, it's a little bit harder than like older Samsung or Google phones or OnePlus or just the standard process like that, but it's decently straightforward. So now you should get an email or account confirm. And there it's activated. And now I'm going to demonstrate the website uh, just completely not working. So there I am using the username I just signed up with, my secondary account, and then the password I used. It's going to tell me password's incorrect, so you need to hit forgot password. And then you just enter your email address. And they will email you a new password uh, surprisingly quickly. Usually uh, terrible sites like this take forever to email, but this one did it right away, so that's nice at least. Get some kind of uh, consolidatory prize, I don't know. And then they send you the new password. I'm not even going to bother censoring this out because I do not care about HTC Dev at all, and this is my secondary account. So then log in using the password they gave you. And there you are. You're logged in now. Go to Unlock Bootloader on the main page. Hit Get Started. Okay, now you just need to like approve a bunch of stuff. So you have to first select the device, which is for us going to be the HTC Desire, and then it's just going to have an asterisk on it. I don't know why they just didn't do the exact model, but whatever. And if I didn't mention before, this is the uh, Metro PCS model. So the process is very similar for other Desire devices or HTC devices in general, but the, the uh, custom recovery is going to be a different file. All the files will be linked in the description. Just scroll down, none of this stuff matters. Scroll down again. Just proceed. And then here we go. This is what we need, the device stuff. Okay, now you're going to want to go into your phone. Uh, make sure you have a decent amount of power. I'd say at least 80%. Um, allow unknown sources. And then you're going to want to go down and enable developer options. If you don't have them already enabled, I already do. I'm just showing you for reference. So, Oh, and you also want to check for software updates. This process is uh, very hard to uh, go back from. So for this phone, I don't know why. It's just very grueling process to unroot it properly and go to back to official software. So definitely get the latest update, which I'm pretty sure is the final update for this phone. So, And you want to enable uh, developer options. Don't ask again. If you can get the screen to pick up the touches, that is. Uh, make sure developer options is actually on. For me, it was not for some reason. I don't know if that's by default for HTC or I don't know. Then you're going to want to enable uh, OEM unlocking, which is very important. And once you root this, do not, um, do not uh, uncheck that ever. So leave it like that. And then allow USB debugging. And now you're just going to want to power off the device. And then after that, you are going to want to 
boot into uh, download mode, which is HTC's version of fast boot. So to do that, you're going to want to uh, hold, once the phone's powered off, you're going to want to uh, hold the volume down key and the power button at the same time. And from this window, you can run fastboot commands. So you're going to want to insert a USB cable. Any USB cable should do fine. I'm just using a random one I found. I definitely do not have the original one for this phone, so the original USB cable is not required at all. And I'm just uh, moving it around the camera so that I can still show the phone. Okay, now back to the computer. Uh, you're going to want to open up that file, and those are all the fast boot commands you're going to need, and the one ADB side load command. command. So now you're going to want to open uh, Platform Tools. So you're going to want to use Control-C to copy the directory. And now you're going to want to open a Command Prompt, preferably Administrator. And you're going to want to use the command CD and then paste the, uh, the uh, file directory that uh, Platform Tools was in. And now you're going to want to run that first fast boot command. So OEM get identifier token. And there's the identifier token. Then you want to copy that. And then open it in a text editor. Uh, notepad is fine. Um, you can use whatever. And just paste it. Control V. Now you're going to want to delete all of the uh, bootloader um, signias or whatever tags, I guess. And then when this is done, you're just going to want to copy it. Well, you're going to want to save it, definitely, in case you ever want, in case you ever unroot it and when you want to root it again or whatever, uh, so you don't have to go through the HTC dev website again. So I would just save it to, I don't know, somewhere you can just forget about it and find it later if you need it. I already have mine saved from earlier when I originally did this. So I'm just saving it in here. And you're not going to be able to use my identifier tokens. It's unique for every device. So you have to do the HTC dev step, unfortunately. So I'm just copying it and then control C or you can do that. And then you're going to want to control V, paste it into here and submit. And they should email you a uh, unlock.bin file pretty much immediately. So you're going to want to go to your email and download it. And it's at attachment at the bottom. And once you download this, you're going to want to move it to the uh, platform tools folder from before. So this one. So go to downloads, then control X, or you can do just cut. And just go back there to platform tools. Okay, now you're going to want to run the next command on the list I gave you. Fastboot, flash, uh, unlock token, unlock code.bin. And just paste that into, you don't even have to start a new uh, command prompt, just paste it in there. Okay, and then it should flash, and then I'm going to show you the uh, what the phone screen looks like. So you're going to want to hit the volume up key, and that should select yes and then hit the power key when that is enabled when that is selected i guess and then it's going to do some stuff uh, it's going to erase all your data so make sure you back up beforehand if i didn't already mention that and then it's going to take a while you have to you have to wait for android the boot and then you have to uh power off again so that process should take about 15 minutes Now we need to go back into uh, download mode so we can flash the custom recovery now that the bootloader is unlocked. So again, power button, a volume down button first and then power button. And 
and then this isn't like Samsung devices where you have to do that weird timing with the releasing the power button. This one you can just keep holding the power button and it'll boot straight to uh, download mode. So now plug back, plug it back into USB, and now we're going to run some more commands. So you're going to want to flash the TWRP file I have, uh, the recovery to custom recovery TWRP that I have given to you. So just copy and paste that. And then when this is done flashing, we can, uh, there's the screen for what the phone's going to look like when you flash it. And then you want to press the power key. Okay. And now you're going to want to um, reboot to bootloader. Okay, now you're going to want to choose uh, Reboot to Recovery Mode. So just use the volume keys to scroll down. And there we are. We're be we're, we've booted into uh, Team Win Recovery Project. And now you're going to want to wipe all data once again. So just do a standard factory reset, nothing fancy for this device. And then you're going to want to use ADB because this is the fastest method. You could also do uh, SD card or whatever. I, I just prefer this one because it's just faster. Then you're going to want to take that last command and uh, just paste it into command prompt and run it. And it should say successful. We'll start it successfully. So the now it's just flashing. takes a little bit longer than the recovery file but okay now you should see the device recognized once it's out of ADB and there's what the screen's gonna look like on ADB so for anyone who doesn't know Magisk is like the pretty much the open source replacement for uh, super SU so it's just systemless root so it has root and then there's other optional add-ons you can get and now I'm just rebooting it to demonstrate that Magisk is indeed installed and there's Magisk manager and it looks like both of the checks were successful I do not have a sim card in this phone so he's checking for updates is going to be it's not going to be able to check for updates unless I connect it to Wi-Fi and that's the end of the video